Hmm. Hey y'all, hope you're having a great day. I'm having an interesting one. It's not been good or bad. I'm off today and enjoying my day off. I had seen yesterday that the Tarte Big Blush Book 3 had come out. And I, they, I got the email. I got on at my break and ordered it right away. I also splurged and paid for next day shipping. I know, not normally me. I'm usually cheap for shipping. I'll wait. It's not a big deal. But I really wanted to get this and I kind of wanted to put a video out on it. Um, I heard a lot of people talk about the one and two that they're really good. Um, one of the people was N Noelle, uh, 183, I believe her name is. Um, she had mentioned it. So had, uh, Jen Reviews. Um, she's really good too. I like both of those ladies. I think they do both do really great reviews. Um, I got it in the mail today. I was so excited. I actually picked this up in one other end that was on clearance. Plus I had a discount, but you could not use your discount on this. This is $60. I thought it was a great deal, and it is. You get a lot of really good product, but my comment to the word is cheap packaging. Very cheap packaging. You probably are not going to be able to keep it in this packaging long term. Plan on buying a palette to hold it in, or a Z palette, or MAC palette, whatever you want to call it. Um, because this is not going to hold up. It is made of foam. And it's got a simple hinge. The hinge is actually a good hinge. It's a good purple hinge. I wish they'd done cardboard instead of this foam. This is craft foam, by the way, people. It's not going to hold up. With um, this cardboard on the outside edge is like your cardboard that you get your noodles in and your cereal in. That kind of cheap. It'll hold up for short term, but not for long term. And then they just laminated it with a uh, sticker to make it last longer. Um, the design's pretty. I just wish they'd gone with st sturdier cardboard and not this cheap foam. Um, because it does it has a swinging mechanism with that little inch, which I could have dealt with that. that that's not, to me, that's not cheap. That's actually kind of smart, I think. My cheap problem is, is look at that. Um, by the way, yeah, I've removed two of these already on accident. Um, be very careful. They're not marked on them. So if you get them out of order, and if you don't know exactly which one is, you're going to get your colors and names all mixed up. And you're not going to know what is what. I'm going to have to get a sticky label. I'm going to put it on the back of them and put it into a Z palette because cheap packaging. But $60 for this many blushes, we get what we get, right? But uh, I kind of wish they got a better packaging on this for sure. All right, you get, they say you get six blushes, a highlighter, and a bronzer. This bronzer is like a blush on me because I'm so fair-toned. If you're a little darker, maybe you could use it, but it's very orange. So I tend to use it like a blush. Um, I'm a little burnt, by the way, people. You probably notice. <laughs> My uh, person, uh, <laughs> I forgot to put sunblock on. I put it on my arms here, and I smeared it on. Got across the nose and underneath the eye. I forgot to get across the dang cheeks. We all have those days, right? One moment! And it is what it is. But we'll get back to the palette that I'm talking about. Sorry, you guys. Off on a personal tangent. Um, yeah, I was swatching them and I could feel the pans literally. They'll start moving around. So I'm going to do finger swatches. Look at that turn. <laughs> Be careful if you tip it upside down. They will fall out. If you're not careful, especially if they popped out once. So I'm going to do finger swatches, do them on my arm, and just so you kind of have an ideal. And I'll try to give you comments on the undertones. Because a pink can look like a pink. And to be honest, most pinks, when you shear it out, it's not a huge difference. But sometimes you can notice the difference and sometimes you can't. It just depends on the color and how it's sheared out and how you build it. Um, also, the color of your base skin will also affect how blush looks. Um, but yeah. Very excited to do this. So the first one, I put, I keep putting spirited on my middle finger. I don't know why. Sorry, my hands are a little stained. I uh, was trying a new liquid lipstick, and it's they actually stained my lip. So I have to wear lip lipstick over it next couple days till the stain goes away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a review coming up on that. All right. First one we're going to do is the bronzer called Kindred. I'm going to which is this one. Then I'm going to do the highlighter, which is spirited. Then we'll go down and do rad. 
and then on the bottom here we'll do peachy some of these are matte some have a finish um, each one's different okay this is the bronzer kindred see what I mean but it's got a lot of it's almost terracotta in color and I, I would use this as a blush right across here and sheer it up and then use a blush topper with something with a little more coral on top to really build a nice layered effect the next one is spirited the highlighter it's a very yellow tone but it's kind of like a warm champagne very um, you know more albino or really light skin are going to struggle using this but everybody else is going to love it and if you have dark skin i think you're going to pull this off very beautifully the next one is rad not red but rad this is a coral pink it's very intense very bright I would suggest using a light hand I would think both this one and this one the one thing I'm finding they're very pigmented in this pan I think you'll like that fact but if you're somebody who likes to build use a light hand the last one is peachy now peachy has a lot of reflex in it both rad and kindred are matte the course spirited is of course a highlighter so it should be shiny but peachy has a lot of glimmer and shimmer in it um, I would use it more as a topper than right here. Here it looked wrong, but if I pull it lightly here, I think I can pull it off and make it look very, very nice. The next four, okay, I showed all those was peachy and red, is mindful. God, I'm so afraid of these popping out, so I'm trying to hold it at an angle, but I'm getting my light. Poised. Lavish. And the last one on here is heated. I just don't want to knock them all out. Okay, first one here is going to be mindful. Now that's a coral pink, more towards the pink. Um, it's almost like a middle ground between these two, literally. Um, it's not as intense as these two. It's a little more sheer but it's got a subtle reflex not true matte um it's very warm toned uh very peachy pink like i said you're gonna like it with a touch of coral all right the next one is poise this is the only real cool tone pink in there it is got a hint of under of mauve underneath it um it's mostly flat with a slight sheen nothing major the next one is Lavish. Lavish is a matte coral. Touch of pink, but mostly coral. And the last one is heated. This has a little bit of shimmer to it, too. Um, it is truly a cross between peach coral and pink, I think. It's got, it's a really pretty color. It's a very warm tone. Anybody with darker complexion is going to love how that looks on their skin. I would have to use a very light hand and I need to pull it up a little bit here. I would use it on days where I want more intense blush like what the sun did to my face today. <laughs> uh, it is a pretty palette. Do I think it's worth the $60? Yes. I would have rather they charge me $10 more, like $70. And I have a package I can leave it in. Now I've got to buy a Z palette big enough to fit all these in. And I have to go through the hassle of labeling because I don't think this is just going to hold up. I'm going to pull it in out of my stuff. Um, and I'm just afraid of getting damaged. And like I said, if you tip these over, especially if you pop them out one time, they're not going to stay. They're just going to pop out. So I'm very disappointed in the packaging, but very happy with the product. So, sorry you guys. That is my review of the Big Blush Book 3. Hope you all enjoy this uh, first impression review. It's not really a review. It's more of a first impression and uh, information about the packaging. Um, they still have it available at the time I am re uh, videoing this. If it's different, I'll put it in here. Otherwise, it should still be available. Um, uh, and hopefully, you all can get one if you want all those colors. Just keep in mind the packaging is crap. But other than that, y'all take care. Until next time, remember... You do you. Bye.